So I realized that MKBHG definitely has a car mount inside the car to mount his red because it's impossible to put the camera on the dashboard. I've got a Gorilla tripod. So I've got the phone here. I'll keep those lights on. I got my phone here with the red app and works so, so well. Like it's, it's real time. Only thing is um, since one of the updates, I don't know if it's my phone or the app, I need to turn off the phone signal. So data to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi or the Commodore, which is really annoying, which means I can't live stream. I can't be on internet. I can't receive phone calls. I've been told it's maybe the the, the phone company. It's maybe I, uh, iOS. Anyway, good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to try to vlog with the red Komodo. I have no idea how it's going to turn out and, and see if it's something possible. I've uh, rigged the Komodo in a way. I'll show you a bit later in the video. At the end, I'll make a summary on uh, how much data I've got at the end of the day. I'll give you my, my point of view. I usually vlog with my Sony cameras. If you guys follow me on uh, social media, you may know that the first thing I do in the morning is going to the gym. It's nearly five. The class is about to start, so let's get the desktop. Yo. Workout done. Now let's get the monster out of bed. <gasps> Quick change. I was borrowing Nelson's Gorilla tripod and I tried it this morning at the gym and I absolutely hate it. It's not strong enough. Even if I had a lighter camera, it's like, it's never staying straight. It's always sideways. I'm a bit worried putting the Komodo on this and if it falls. What Raph and I did is uh, swap that back with the base of um, the Ronin S2. It's, um, it's a tripod you can unscrew. So I screw that at the bottom of the Komodo. It's super stable, gives me a nice handle. Only downside is I can't tilt up uh, the camera. I can't really orient it. Now it's shower time. Then we are going to the market, then Puppy yoga, then we probably are going to the beach. Do you approve all of this? Bonjour. Good morning. So when you were driving before, were you filming? Yeah, I was holding the camera with one hand, hanging at the window, and uh, driving with my foot. <laughs> A little bit more about the setup. I put the link of everything I'm um, talking about in the description. Uh, if you guys are interested, I've got a small rig handle and the Komodo is in the Condor Blue cage. I've got the top handle from Condor Blue as well and I'm using a Rode uh, Video Mic Pro Plus. As for lens, I'm using the Tokina 11 to 22.8. It's a photography lens. I'm using the Peter McKinnon, the first version of the 225 viable ND filter. I'm using two Canon BP batteries. Those are the only two I have. So far, it's uh, seven in the morning and I've used already one battery. Uh, the camera was on the whole time at the gym. I've given it a quick boost at home plug-in and I think I'm going to do that all day. So every time I come home, plug in the camera so that it charges the battery and see how far I can go with this. And I'm using a 512 gigabyte card. As of the settings, so I'm using 6K 17 by 9 so I'm not cropping on the sensor. I'm in LQ because uh, we are vlogging and I'm not looking at doing any CGI or super advanced stuff so I don't need that extremely high quality. I've got two of those cards. I'm going to try to see how many times I have to dump the footage on my computer throughout the day. It's just an experiment guys, uh, nothing. Uh, super crazy it's just to see okay can you vlog with the red komodo is it worth the quality um yeah you guys tell me in the comments oh and la one last thing i'm using um the komodo it overexposed yeah i'm using the komodo autofocus and see if um it actually works you
Wow. I'm so excited. It smells so good. Smell it. Like it's so strong. Oh, it smells ham. Yeah, but it's smoked tofu. It's tofu. It's gonna be really good. Okay, now we have to go. Let's back up and yeah. go. just did some work i actually came home after the puppy yoga and i had to offload one the footage um i have roughly 380 gigabytes so far it's um i stopped filming at around half past 10 in the morning and uh, the batteries are nearly flat hopefully they will be charged enough for this afternoon we'll probably go to the beach do some more uh, filming and testing of this setup spent a full day vlogging with the red komodo and i've got nelson here nelson is actually the very best person to ask about that because he's vlogging pretty much every day what do you look for in a camera when you when you vlog i think the the main things when vlogging is really to have a reliable camera that is built like a tank and then that is lightweight for me it's a, it's a very important thing that is like a light setup that can produce professional results as well but it needs to be light for sure especially if you want if you like going in improvised trips and stuff like that you don't want to be thinking about like oh should i take 10 kilos yeah. of camera gear whereas if you take just three that can do the job and produce professional results and won't let you down I think that's the main thing. B-roll stuff as well, like slow motion, things like that. Sony cameras, they're great for this kind of stuff. It's, they're produced beautiful 4K, and you also have the flexibility to shoot slow motion that's gonna be top quality. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just a camera that is ver versatile enough. I don't know if I pronounced that word yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's the word, yeah. I think the Komodo point number one, reliability, I'd never had an issue. It's been over a year now that I've had uh, that Komodo Stormtrooper. Never had any issues. Point number two, lightweight. I think today is the proof that it's not even trying to, to make it lightweight. And if you guys stay until the end of the video, I'll do a debrief of this whole day uh, in the studio and show you the whole setup. In terms of weight, no, it's not lightweight. Uh, I think you, you can really strip the camera down to only the batteries and just the lens, but then you're very limited and you can only shoot B-roll. And third, B-roll, I love the B-roll of the Komodo. And we shot most of these B-rolls in 6K at 40 frames. The global shutter is, uh, is, is so smooth. Uh, it looks like a movie. If you guys are interested, like we compared the Sony S7S3 and the Komodo, even though the S7S3 is really good, don't press that switch button. <laughs> the rough, rough going onto the on and off button of the Komodo. Now it's like in slow motion. And uh, 6K 40 is okay, but you may have seen, uh, we filmed some stuff inside and uh, the lights at 40 frames were flickering. I haven't put any 2K 120 in this video because I know it's not um, ideal. We, you need a lot of light and it only works in some condition. It's cool to have that option. One thing that we talked about before that maybe she mentioned, comparing the how quick 
you can start shooting on this camera oh, yeah, to maybe yeah, like a Sony yeah. camera. The Komodo will take you said like maybe around thirty seconds. Yeah, I think to be roughly. Ready. Yeah. So when you're blogging, like you're usually trying to get the little things that are happening throughout the day, and something really exciting might start happening, and you need your camera to be quick enough to turn on and start shooting. One hundred percent. So yeah. for a camera like the Komodo you might either have to leave it on so that means the battery will be continuously draining itself for a while um, so maybe it won't last a full day if you need to vlog like your entire day you might need to take that into account yeah 100 percent. so i'll go through uh, all these points uh, in the studio thank you very much nelson thanks brav for 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 your amazing work <laughs> like you did amazing today like that's naughty nose see you in the studio guys smile like, you ready for this? Ready for a ride, sir? Let's go. Back when we were younger, I could have fooled you with a kiss. This is the setup I've used, as I said, a small ring handle, the Condor Blue cage with the Condor Blue handle, the Rode NTG on top, a ball mount here for my phone, the two Canon BB batteries, and the running to handle at the bottom. And uh, this is the Tokina 11-220, the F28CF80XI, and the Polar Pro Viable ND Filter 225 version 1. I literally had the idea to take the Komodo for a spin, make a vlog of one day, and I charged the batteries and the next morning I was filming. So there was no progression, no plan at all in this video. A few things I'd like to mention and we can start with the autofocus. So I was using autofocus pretty much for 99% of the shots. And I must say, I'm clearly impressed by the capabilities of this camera. I was not expecting the autofocus to work for all the pages and even for personal projects. I'd never used autofocus with this camera. On top of this, I was using a fairly cheap uh, lens. The thing with using that lens is that I was actually a bit worried about the, the autofocus performances but as well the noise that this lens makes when the motors are focusing and back in the car good morning so when you were driving before were you filming yeah, I was holding the camera with one hand. And this clip was using the internal microphone of the Komodo. But in this video, I used only the audio coming from the road on top of the camera and the sound was not picked up. That lens is fairly good, but not perfect. And I'm sure you have noticed the vignetting in the corners on some shots. Another thing I've noticed with the autofocus in the Komodo is that if you don't press the screen after you stop and start recording again, the continuous autofocus will not start by itself. And that's why you could see in the video some shots that were out of focus that I left on purpose. Most of it, it was filmed at 2.8 some of the shots outside were filmed at 6.3 but overall after watching the footage i'm very happy with the focusing one big issue i encountered was with the polar pro vnd filter i've got the peter mckinnon version 1 2 to 5 and one set to 5 outside the color shift is huge and terrible i'm sorry about that that's why you could see some of the sky being 
dark and purple on one side and very bright on the other side, you definitely can see that it's a polarized filter. But quickly, in order to conclude, a few things that worried me were the sand on the beach. I'm not very confident taking the Komodo outside like this, not protected. It's a fairly expensive piece of equipment that maybe I'm not ready to chuck in my backpack or put on the beach with sand around. I only have two Canon BP batteries because I'm mostly using my V-mount batteries when I'm on set and I need longer battery life or I'm using the Ronin 2 and powering directly through the gimbal. One thing I really missed was the time-lapse option you can see in the SMC2. There is no option to lower the frame rate below 25 frames per second, which means the few times I left the camera rolling to create a time lapse, the files were huge. Overall, in a pretty basic vlogging day, I've captured in LQ 6K 17x9 over 750 gigabytes of footage, which is enormous. And I understand that maybe for vlogging, you can't always carry a ton of hard drives with you. On a more positive note, Final Cut on my MacBook Pro didn't require the creation of proxy. I edited the whole 6K footage all at once and started only seeing my computer slowing down towards the end when I was color grading the video. Let me know in the comments below if you would use the Komodo as a vlogging camera or if you just think it's a stupid idea. When it comes to my opinion, I agree with what Nelson said previously. I think I would give the preference to my Sony A7S III and make the compromise losing the amazing quality that the Red Komodo has to get a lighter camera that is a bit more flexible and that can allow me to take as well pictures, for example. And that's my take on vlogging with the Red Komodo. I hope you guys at least had fun watching this video. If you have any questions about my setup and the Red Komodo, leave a comment down below. I'm going to put some links in the description below with the gear I have used today. Consider leaving a like, subscribing and all the good things and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!